I mean, it's awesome, right? We go into the fifth seed, right? We did, we were, we, we were picked lower than that, you know, and we, we sur surpassed that. And um, our kids have believed all year in what they're doing. And we've learned a ton of things along the way. And so we're excited. We expected to be here, so it's not a surprise. And uh, we love, we love the seed we got. And we're excited about our opponents that we get to face. And, um, and you know, we're, we're ready to go to Oklahoma City. What do you like the most about just the two teams that you drew in, in Baylor and Oklahoma State? I mean, we played them both here, and we felt great about how we played them, right? It didn't come out exactly how we wanted. We we let a few of them, of those games, kind of go through our fingers. But I thought we hit their pitching well, and I thought, you know, I think that, you know, uh, stat for stat, we stand true to both of those guys. Um, um, team to team. So, I, you know, I, I love the matchups. I love both of the matchups. I think it's always hard to have a doubleheader, um, but it's hard for anybody in the Big 12 to have a doubleheader um, in that day. So uh, I, I just think we match up really well against them, and I think we've already shown that here. Um, and I'm excited to, I know our team is excited to be able to have new blood to go back after something they felt like fell through their fingers. Just, Coach, looking at your shirt a little bit, you know, respect, is that something you think that's you guys have been working towards and like have made strides in this season, gaining respect for this program in the conference nationally, all that? Yeah, I mean, I think like, you know, I talk to our kids about this all the time. I think you, you can't mandate someone to respect you, right? Like that's someone else's concern. So really this is about respect for ourselves. This is respect for what we do. This is respect for how we play the game um, and who we are as people, right? You can't, I couldn't have you guys respect me. I couldn't have anyone else respect me. And that's within my own my own being so it's more about respecting us as a program respecting ourselves and what we do and taking pride in what that every single day I guess along that vein where have you seen the most growth in this team this season well I mean we started really young so you know I, I think I think we've definitely got better defensively I think that um, you know our infield has sealed up some gaps which we had early and uh, we've, we've turned more double plays than anyone in Big 12 and um, I think we're thinking proactively and not reactively um, I think our outfield has gotten better on covering ground and I think we've been able to hit the ball consistently and uh, Jess's numbers have just multiplied so you know I think all in all across our game we've we've definitely improved in so many areas can you talk a little bit more about Jessica and what she's brought, not only here on the field, but just as a leader and as you know, somebody who's contributing to you know the locker room as well as out on the field? I mean, I think it's unmatchable. We can't. I mean, I've talked about her all year, and I feel like I could continue to talk to her about her another year. I think, I think her work ethic is sets the tone from jump on how things are ran, whether that's in the the, the workout room, uh, that's here, that's running bases, that's like there's never a day that she's like crummy. You know, like she's going to give you her her best every single every single moment of what that is, whether she's hurt or sad or stressed out about her ridiculous um, schooling. You know, whatever it is, I think she's just giving you her all, and um, and that speaks for itself. So then the standard is set, and then when she doesn't see people doing that, then she can say like, "I'm doing that, right?" Like your expectation is to do that too, and I think that we've that's really helped raise our bar in. Um, the standard of play that we have for Texas Tech softball, which we haven't had before. She talked about a little bit earlier the moment whenever she hit that home run, that 18th of the season that would you know take her into the lead um, in Texas Tech softball history. And she was rounding second. She looked over and she saw you. But what was that moment like for you whenever you kind of knew that she had broken that? I mean, just pride. Pride for her. I mean, she worked so hard, and there's no one more deserving than her. There's not. You know, like tons of time in the game, it doesn't pay off at the hardest worker gets the accolade as well it doesn't happen like that often and it's get it's getting to happen like that for her so that makes me super happy for her that her hard work paid off in in the way she wanted it to pay off both teams are just beatable you know when we go in there and we compete like we know we can we can get the job done and everybody on the team knows that and we're excited and we're going to go in and give them our best game how much confidence is generated just knowing the way that you guys were able to come out and play when you had them here at home yeah, I mean, a lot of confidence. I know we were right in all those games, and just some things just didn't fall our way, and we were so close. And I think all of our team is tired of being just so close. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're going out there, and we're, we're coming on to get, get some wins and actually finish. So. And what's it going to take to kind of turn that corner, though? Because you guys are so close. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just everybody just doing their job and not, not taking on too much on each person and just playing like we know we can and having confidence in just our skill set. As one of the team leaders, kind of talked with Coach all season about the youth of this team and the confidence that needed to be built throughout the year. Have you seen that grow 
throughout the year from your position, both in yourself, but really throughout the team? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you can definitely just tell on defense, too. Like, we have so many freshmen out there and underclassmen, and our defense has just gotten so much better throughout the season, and that's a testament to the confidence that they've continued to build this whole this whole time. And um, I think that their numbers are going to keep – you know, keep coming through for us in the box too. So I think they're doing a great job. And then something I asked Coach about the, where she was talking about like the, you know, the respect the program is building for itself, and also outside of you, have you seen the respect grow from the conference from different teams you face? That's something you guys are trying to get, just that building that respect from all the different teams you play in the conference nationally, all that. I mean, in a sense, yeah, but I mean, that can't be our focus. Like, our focus has to be in there and go in and just play our best game that we know we can, no matter who's in the other, in the other dugout, whether they respect us or not. And um, I feel like this young team coming in, us building a, our own culture this year, it's um, just having respect for ourselves has just been the most important thing. Is it, is it exciting to get to go to the Big 12 Champions? Is that something different? Because it's, it's still Big 12 teams, but it's not, you know, going on the road, being at home. It's, just, it's a whole different atmosphere playing – couple games a couple mm -hmm. of games in the same day is that just something different for you guys yeah definitely I mean in the tournament anything can happen you know one game can go one way and change everything up and we know that and we're so excited to come in and we have a great seating and we're just we're just ready to go in and get the job done and does that give you give you guys the confidence where I know you guys were expecting it but to finish mm -hmm. higher than you were picked mm -hmm. you know preseason to be the 5c what does that mean for this team oh yeah definitely I mean it just goes to show that building this year has has you know it's done the job and it's done what we wanted to do and um, you know we're just ready to go out there and prove that we can be a five seed and even a higher seed you know and just get some wins. With this year being the second year that the tournament's been brought back I guess what mm -hmm. were you able to draw from it last year that maybe you can show some of these young kids or teach them going into it? I mean just the importance of each game just not taking any single at bat or ground ball or any single play for granted um, I think that's the most important thing and just going in there and just still keeping things simple in the way that we do too, and um, if we just and if we do that, everything will go the way we want it to. Do you have any pregame rituals? Yes, I do. I mean, um, I get dressed in the same way, like with socks, sliders, pants, belt. Everything is. I'm actually pretty OCD when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, and then if something doesn't work, I have to change something. If I go in like a slump, I'll like take my nail polish off or whatever it is. So yeah. Interesting. Who gives the best pregame speeches? Definitely Coach Sam. And I think Tyson, our strength coach, he is, he is making some improvements in his speeches too.